formerly suicidal Redditors, what's something that kept you alive a little while longer and helped you to get through the dark times in your lives? Not joking, my looks. I probably wouldn't be here if I thought I was ugly. Taking care of my bird. I just love her so much, and I knew the rest of my family wouldn't be able to take her in or care for her. It would have broken my heart to see her rehomed or given to a rescue. After my first attempt, I got my cat, honey butt. I was more depressed after being released from my hospitalization than ever before, didn't leave bed, didn't shower, wasn't working. I stuck her little box under my bed so when she pissed in it I would smell it and get up to feed her, and feed myself. Truly, she kept me alive. I developed a codependency with her that has majorly contributed to why I am alive today. She has been with me ever since and while I am fluctuating and trying every day, she always makes it so much better. I'm marooned in Canada and she's been with my mom since the beginning of quarantine. Unfortunately it's been around 6 months since I've seen her, and I miss her very very dearly. My mother. I'm now 24 year old man and I attempted suicide when I was 22. Afterwards was even harder than before. My mom would try and tell me that I was her rock and she could not and did not want to live her life without me in it. My mom is the most selfless person in the world and I know now, I will do everything in my power to not allow my mother to see me die. I would do anything for my mom. No one will see this, and that is okay. I haven't talked about it, and this could be a release. During my contemplation my ex-girlfriend called. Her dad committed suicide. He was always happy, a great father, and a huge support in his church. If it could overtake him it could overtake me. I scheduled an appointment to see a therapist before I went to the funeral. I now don't hate night time, fear having a gun near me, or envision driving my car off the bridge every time I'm behind the wheel. I have a wonderful family, a wife, two kids, and a dog. It felt so dark and so real. Life can be better than what we feel stuck in. I would think about my family, mostly my niece. I couldn't do it because I know how much pain they would all be in. When I was deep in the throes of my depression, I would often fantasize about hanging myself or taking pills to fall asleep and then wander out into the woods in the dead of winter. I thought well if I wanna go that's how I'll do it, now what? It's always an option, I could still go out and do it, but what about tomorrow? Tomorrow anything can happen? I could find a hundred bucks on the ground, see a beautiful sunrise, walk through a park with the eerie silence of winter or walk through the trails and see the fall colors. Alternatively I could kill myself, but then I wouldn't get to see any of that stuff, and that really stinks. In the end I know my existence is futile and it's just a blink in the grand scheme of things, but it's in that blink I get to experience everything I possibly can and I know that there are people who would kill to have just that. So I will live out my little blink, pet my dog, kiss my wife, drink my coffee and enjoy some craft beer. I stood at the edge of the cliff and looked down, thinking about the pain and suffering that would come if I survived the jump. A strong gust of wind pushed me a little as if daring me to do it. That made me realize I could face my problems. I got pregnant a month after my mom passed away. I was completely abusing my anxiety meds and cold medicine but once I found out I was pregnant, I quit completely. I still have lapses here and there but having to be responsible for her being inside me helped me so much. I was in an extremely abusive marriage and had completely forgotten how to care for myself. But being pregnant forced me to take care of myself. We are finally away from that situation. I have four older kids but having her gave me something that absolutely needed me to be at my best. Knowing my dog would spend the rest of his life confused. My little brother. I knew he would take the whole brunt of my dad's toxicity and couldn't leave him in the living hell without someone to get him out. Gonna sound stupid but watching TV or reading and finding a sarcastic comment too good for me to never say. Three main things. And, these aren't necessarily what got me through dark times, times were still dark, I just couldn't bring myself to kill myself for these reasons. 1. The possibility that eternity exists. 
not the Christian heaven or anything like that. Something more similar to reincarnation. So, therefore, if eternity exists, then death doesn't actually provide relief. 2. The thought of how it could fuck up people I love. 3. The possibility of not succeeding and being left as disabled for the rest of my life. This is going to sound really stupid, but it works, waiting for the next episode and or season of TV shows I like. If I die, I'll never find out what happens. My two cockatiels, yellow heart. Different things at different times, but one of the biggest things was spite. A lot of the thoughts I had during my suicidal days, was that I let everyone down, I ruined everyone around me, all I caused was problems, people were better off without me, etc etc. I genuinely thought suicide was the best and only decent option because I was so tired of causing pain, it was the last thing I ever wanted to do and I never knew how to stop, or what I even did. I believed that I was just supposed to mess things up and kill myself when I ruined enough people. I would sit there and full on sob about this for hours, plotting my own death so I did the least amount of damage when passing, because I sure as hell didn't want to cause more pain than I needed to. I even believed that if I did it right, it would hurt some people like close friends and family, but they would heal and eventually they would even thrive in life after I'm gone. After hours of believing this, I would get angry. Livid even. I would be so angry at the world, at the whole universe, because it wasn't fair. It felt like I was put here to cause issues, and I hated it. I never asked for that. I would get so mad at everything, and myself, until I would start feeling spiteful. I would pick myself up off the ground and curse the universe, give it the finger, and scream at the world obviously inside my head, locked in my room because I would always have these breakdowns in solitude and did any and everything to make sure no one had any idea I was even upset at the time because I felt like I would just burden them that I wasn't going to give up and I was going to prove that I can live a nice happy life. I was going to prove that I wasn't here to hurt people. I would get such a fire in me to go on living because I felt like the world was supposed to hate me, all I was meant to do was cause pain, and end my life when I had done enough damage and I wanted to prove it wrong. TLDR I often stopped myself from committing suicide because I was spiteful of what I believed my role in life was and wanted to prove the universe wrong. My cat would wonder where I am and she probably won't understand why I'm not there to sneak her treats. Moving away to the other side of the country to live with my GF, leaving my family back in my hometown, it's been hard but suicidal thoughts have been less strong in the past years than before. My current dog saved my life. I had a breakdown in 2015 after my grandma and companion dog both passed away unexpectedly. I had also ended an abusive relationship, I was diagnosed with a chronic illness, and my eating disorder was at its peak. I also was shunned by family and didn't have anywhere to live. I honestly gave up on being alive. I was deteriorating. I just wanted to die. The only thing I had going for me was my dog that had been given to me by surprise. If it wasn't for him I truly believe I would be dead right now. I gave up on myself entirely but I had to get myself better because I had a responsibility. I had to take care of my dog. He saved my life. He helped me heal. For those who lose everything even themselves a pet can do miracles for you. They give you a reason to live even when losing everything. I was in crew, rowing, in which it takes 9 people in complete codependence in order to be able to actually row or compete. If one person were to miss a practice, the rest of the boat would be completely screwed. That's 8 other people who rely on me and trust me, and me relying and trusting those 8 others just as much. I couldn't let my boat down. I've moved on from rowing since, but I kind of think of it as a metaphor now smile. Realizing that the feeling is temporary. The word now really helped. I listened to a podcast called The Hilarious World of Depression and people kept expressing how temporary the feeling of being suicidal was for them, that it's not what they truly want, it is just, now. So, I feel low today or I feel low now but it isn't always this way and it won't always be this way. 
I also rescued two street cats a while ago, whenever I feel really low they always seem to comfort me or annoy me. I appreciate them and they're a reminder that not only do I do good in this world but I am loved and needed. The idea of reincarnation, that if I do commit suicide then I will be immediately reincarnated into a worse situation to learn a karma lesson. My dog. But when my dog dies then I will do it. 6, 7 more years max.